St George's Park cost around £105 million and aims to use the very latest technology to help England's footballers compete with players from around the world. The high-tech facilities include a gym and a number of pitches, including a full-size replica of Wembley, as well as an altitude chamber to mimic a variety of playing conditions. There's also an underwater treadmill with cameras so players' progress can be monitored and an indoor running track to help them with their speed. The centre will coach players from as young as five and host all of England's 24 teams, from schoolboys to the senior men's and women's squads. And the focus is not just on the players, but on helping develop coaches to achieve success on the pitch. I mentioned a short time ago that we were hoping to speak to David Bernstein, the FA chairman. I'm delighted to tell you he's just stepped onto our balcony. I mean, really just. Well, I put someone's jacket on because it was, <laughs> uh, I was, I don't know how cold it was this morning. Yeah, well done. You just made it in time. Um, you must Thank be delighted you. to be here today. Momentous day for English football. Yes, I'm delighted. Very, very proud to be here. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of standing on the side and watching the England team train on this pitch for the first time. And it was a very historic moment. And you know, this project's taken, oh, I mean, 20 years in inception and four starts, and then we got it going. And to see this magnificent facility emerging out of this, I'm absolutely delighted, very proud.